question number 8 a block of mass where is it a block of mass uh, 5 kg so glass i will take it as 1 m1 temperature t1 is brought into contact with a block of asphalt of mass let me move this one a little bit down right of mass m2 m2 temperature t2 wow see this temperature t2 is greater than t1 which means who will lose heat this asphalt will lose heat as compared to block so asphalt will give energy to the block so the, to the glass glass will get heated up okay the specific heat of uh, capacity of asphalt m c2 c2 is twice that of glass two times c1 okay no energy is transferred to surroundings what is the final temperature of both the blocks okay so what is the principle here calorimetric principle which is energy lost is equal to energy gate energy gate now who loses energy as a fact loses energy which should be m2 c2 into so as a as a uh, since it loses energy the temperature will also become lower which should be t2 minus t let the t be the final temperature this should now be equal to m1 c1 into so glass gains energy which should be t minus t1 right so one so this becomes positive okay now what we'll do is we'll substitute the values what is m1 m2 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 is m2 20 20 and c2 equal to 2 times t1 c1 multiplied by t2 minus t t2 is equal to how much 75 75 minus t is equal to m1 m1 is 5 kg and this is c1 multiplied by t minus t1 t minus what is t1 t1 is 30 30 okay now what we'll do is we'll cancel this uh, c1 the c1 goes away i have this as a 40 into 75 minus t is equal to 5 into t minus 30 right so 5 ones are 5 8s are now what we do let us simplify this this becomes 8 into 75 minus 80 is equal to t minus 30 so this goes that side this becomes 8 into 75 what's the value of 8 into 75 where is my calculator is here okay so 8 into 75 8 into 75 is 600 right so this should be 600 600 my this minus 30 comes this way so it becomes plus 30 is equal to 90 so this implies 600 600 plus 30 630 is equal to 90 t should be equal to 630 divided by 9 so how much will this be once again let us do this 630 divided by 9 will be 70 so the final temperature should be 70 degrees centigrade Where is seventy here? Seventy is option D. Okay. 